Welcome, travelers. Hi, my name is Adam. And I'm Talia. My name is Ryan. I'm Morgan. Today, we are doing true false trivia facts about the state of Mississippi. But the trick is, we have to agree on whether or not it is true or false. And Adam and I don't agree on much. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Oh my gosh. Hopefully, we'll be the victors. <laughs> I think we will. I know we will. <laughs> True. <laughs> See what we did there? <laughs> that was cute. Fact number one. Factoid number one. What's the difference between a fact and a factoid? Factoid is smaller fact. The world's largest shrimp is on display at the Old Spanish Fort Museum in Pascagoula. How big is this shrimp? <laughs> Like a real shrimp or a statue of a shrimp? I think that sounds like a true statement. I don't know if you know this about Mississippi, but it has beaches. If you visit a Mississippi, you'll know that. Right. I say it's true, and I think, I wanna guess the size of this shrimp. I think it is the size of a NFL regulation football. I think it sounds like a truth. I don't agree with you, but I also am not confident enough to change your mind, so okay. True. true. That would be correct. Yeah! Yes. Take that, Adam and Talia, who yeah. probably got it wrong. They probably got it wrong. We say it's true. You're correct. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad. How big is it? How big is it? How big is the shrimp? 102 pounds. 102 no. pounds? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Whoa! Ew, 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 ew. Imagine catching that. That's so cool. That guy looks so happy. That is so cool, Mississippi. Next fact, commonly known as the Magnolia State, one of Mississippi's lesser known nicknames is the Cracker State. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Cracker State? Why? <laughs> so I do believe that's true that they are the Magnolia State. Because I think they just had a new flag made and they have the Magnolia on it, if I remember correctly. I've literally never heard this, but you also said lesser known, so. Uh, please be false. Please, I beg of you, be I false. have never wanted something to be more true. <laughs> <laughs> I have never wanted. I just have no idea why it would be called the Cracker State, so I'm gonna say that's not true. I agree. That would be correct. The Cracker State is one of Georgia's lesser known. Georgia. I still wouldn't have gone there. We're saying say. false. And that is correct. Yeah! Thank goodness. <laughs> the first woman mail carrier was from Mississippi. She used a buggy to deliver mail to the area southeast of Vicksburg in 1914. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be true, It's right? very specific, so I say true, 100%, and I love that. Yeah, like, Very much. I can see her right now with her little buggy, yeah. just rocking it, oh, yeah. going down to Vicksburg, tossing out some mail. Probably yeah. waving to some some neighbors, waving to everyone Oh yeah, who everybody knows neighbor. her name. Like, yeah. she's just like, she's the mail person. Yes. I just don't feel like the first female mail delivery, what a sentence, person would have been in the South. Well, that just goes to show what sort of stereotypes you have about this beautiful state of Mississippi, which just aren't it's true. It's not specifically about Mississippi. We say it's true. True. She was the original Amazon. That is correct. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Her name was Miss Mamie Thomas. Yes, that was her name. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Miss Amy? Mamie. Mamie. Miss Mamie. If you feel confident about this one. I think it's true. Mississippi, I'm gonna give you credit for this. And that's correct. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thomas Martin from Jacksonville, Mississippi, was the first man to popularize and mass produce the boot spur in 1854. I would have given that to Texas. See, that sounds false to me because I feel like a boot spur is a Texas thing. Yeah, I feel like Texas would be mad if we said that came from Mississippi. Yeah, they totally and We have a would lot be. of fans in Texas. They, they would come for us. I'm gonna, I, let, I'm gonna let you call this one. Fine, I mean, what do we have to lose? We're not actually winning anything, are we? Pride. No, I don't have any of that. Okay, I don't think it's true. And that's correct. <laughs> Let's think about a boot spur. It is the spur at the heel of a boot. Correct. Tell you what we'll do. We'll like flip this and whatever it lands on, that's what we'll go with. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We say false. That would be correct. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh -huh. Killing it. The concept of selling shoes in boxes by the pair originated in Vicksburg at Phil Gilbert's shoe parlor on Washington Street. 
There was so much in that sentence. This feels so far out of left field, I don't even know what to say or what to think. Can you say that whole sentence again? That feels right. What did shoes come in before? Bins. I have a question. So before they were putting them in boxes, were they just like selling one shoe at a time? No, they'd probably give them the pair. We've been to Vicksburg. We have. I didn't see a sign when I was there saying we invented the shoebox. I don't know if they'd put that on a sign. I don't know. I mean, I'd be pretty proud of it. Yeah. But also, why, why Mississippi? Like, why, why not Mississippi? I feel like it would be like California or something. What? I don't know. You'd think that? They can't do that. This is the South. We invent everything that's great. Wink. <laughs> I, I say we say true. We'll say true. We'll say. True. And you are correct. Ryan. Yes. Oh my God. What is with us in the power of our high fives right I'm, now? <laughs> I'm pretty good at high fiving. Uh, let's say true. And you would be correct. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mississippi was the first to bottle Coca-Cola in 1894. See, this feels like a trap because Atlanta is clearly like the Coca-Cola capital of the planet. Mm -hmm. Gut instinct is that that is not true, That's but my also my gut true. instinct is like often wrong but because my gut instinct is right now just hungry. Hold on, hold mm -hmm. on. Work it through. Uh, well, what did Jimmy Neutron say? Brain blast? That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I just had the burp. All right. Oh, <laughs> that's another kind of brain blast. Wait, oh my gosh. I watched the Drunk History episode on the history of Coca-Cola. Why didn't I pay more attention instead of just laughing? I was hoping you would have an answer here. Mm. We're on the same brainwave, you and me. Oh, oh my. That's how we're dominating this right now. Oh, okay, on the count of three, say your favorite color. One, two, three, blue. blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, then we need to do this. Then we need to do, what do we think this is on three? One, One two, two, three, three false. false. Yes. We're saying false. Okay. We have nothing to lose, except our pride. And that would be incorrect. Darn! Knew it! No, no you didn't! Freak is over. You did not know it. I did, I said I did. And that is incorrect. <gasps> oh, it was... Really was bottled in Mississippi first? Coca-Cola was created in Atlanta, but at first was only available as a fountain drink. It wasn't bottled until 1894 in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Dang, man, at Vicksburg has everything. I guess I need to go to Vicksburg. I am so sorry, Vicksburg. Mississippi is the only state to have an alcoholic beverage as its official drink. Oh, I believe that. I want to believe that. That's gotta be Louisiana, right? I mean, no offense, Louisiana, but come on. And that would be incorrect. Ah. This is your fault. I feel like it's your fault. I feel like it's your fault. <laughs> I'm, I, I mean, I'm gonna say false. Yeah, I, I think this is a false Yeah. Word. And that would be correct. Yeah. What state is? Alabama. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is it? Conecuh Ridge Whiskey. Oh, that is not what I was thinking. The first nuclear submarine built in the South was created in Mississippi. I want to believe that too. I want to believe I that. I want to believe all of these things. Okay, as someone who studies Mississippi and nuclear submarines, mm -hmm. I have no idea. The Gulf. The, I mean, they're right there. They're right there. Mississippi yeah. has a great coastline. I don't know if you know this. You know, maybe the Gulf of Mexico is a prime place for nuclear submarines to be built and released. M maybe. Um, because of the bath-like temperature of the water. That's why I like it. <laughs> I want you to hold it. Because I think this is true. I'm gonna say false. I'm gonna say one of these. Is that a possible answer? Okay, we'll go with false. And that is incorrect. <sighs> yeah, we're back. Around 60% of the country's farm-raised crabs come straight from Mississippi. Crabs? Farm-raised? Crabs? Mississippi? Crabs out on the range. Isn't Maryland known for crabs? Yeah. The animal food crabs. How do you raise a crab on a farm? I mean, it's warm enough. I don't think of crab as a farm animal. Old McDonald had a crab. True or false? <laughs> Let's say false. I'm doing false, but not confidently. That would be correct. It is 60% of the country's farm-raised catfish. Catfish, that, that makes sense. That sounds much more correct. Yeah, the catfish. We're saying true. true. And that would be incorrect. Dang oh, it. Oh boy. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, we were doing so good. 
The first heart transplant was successfully accomplished at the University of Mississippi Medical Center. I think that's true. I think I heard that somewhere. Yeah, Mississippi would. It would be like, because nobody would believe it. They'd be like, Mississippi would come into the room with all the other states and Mississippi would be like, guys, guess what I did? I completed the first heart transplant. And then Georgia would be like, Mississippi, stop playing. And he'd be like, no, seriously, I did it. And Florida would be like passed out somewhere. It, 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 Mississippi would. Yeah, I feel like this is true. I'm gonna trust you because you are in a family of doctors. We're gonna say true. And that would be incorrect. Oh no. <laughs> that would be incorrect. Oh. It is the first lung transplant. Oh, <gasps> uh, you did the thing where you switched the body part. I, I told you she's tricky. Right. Oh yeah, oh man, this is the last one. All right, everybody get ready. Ooh, okay, let's go on a strong note. Pressure's on. Mississippi was the first state to declare Christmas a legal holiday. There is no universe that I can imagine where it wasn't. I, I, what are your thoughts? Um, you know what? No state says Christmas like Mississippi. That kind of seems like it would be true. If well, that's what makes it tricky. <laughs> These are all trick questions. You probably switched the holiday on us. It's probably Labor Day or something. Do it. And that would be correct. Yes! yes! I think you did bring us Christmas. Yeah. Mississippi, you gave us Christmas. Thank you, Mississippi. Thank you, Mississippi. True. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. As great as that was for the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we only missed three. Yeah, three out of how many? Twelve. Three out of twelve. Nine out of twelve. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, what, eighty percent? Oh, we got seven out of twelve. Ooh, that's like a C. Yeah. That's like a D. Yeah. They got nine out of twelve. Oh! oh. Yeah. No! This video is brought to you by Visit Mississippi. Should you visit Mississippi? You should. That's true. Should you wait any longer to visit Mississippi? No, please visit them, please. Three, two, one. M, I, crooked letter, crooked letter. I, crooked letter, crooked letter. I, humpback, humpback, I. Bye! We love you, Mississippi. You did not help me singing at all. <laughs> <laughs> I am so upset. <laughs>